Clifford's Spring Cleanup by Norman Bridwell. Happy spring! I'm Emily Elizabeth. At our house, it's time for spring cleaning again. Last year, the whole family worked hard, even my big red dog, Clifford. My first job was to hang some rugs out to air. Clifford wanted to help. He took a rug outside and gave it a good shaking. I guess he shook it a little too hard. Mom said we might as well wax the living room floor as long as the rug was up. Mommy and Daddy started to move the furniture outside. When Clifford saw the couch, his eyes lit up. He used to curl up on it when he was a small puppy. Crunch! He didn't fit on it anymore. Good thing the couch was so old. Daddy was going to get a new one anyway. There was still a lot of spring cleaning to do. Clifford cleaned the windows all by himself. First, he washed them. Then, he dried them. Mommy didn't think Clifford's method worked very well. So, we washed the windows again. Poor Daddy. He had to rake the yard. It looked as if it would take him all day. But not with Clifford to help. Just then, some of my friends came by. They asked me to help them clean up the vacant lot on the corner. It was their Earth Day project. Clifford did his part for Earth Day. Then we planted a beautiful garden. On the way home, Clifford and I saw some people working on another Earth Day project. Clifford gave them a hand, er, a tail. Back at home, there was another job to do. Clifford's house needed some spring cleaning, too. He swept out his old bones and tossed out his collection of rubber toys. It made quite a large pile. Somehow Clifford got it all into the garbage truck. Much to the surprise of the driver. Now both our houses were neat and clean. It was a good day's work. About Earth Day. On April 22nd, we celebrate Earth Day. It's a time to do something special for your neighborhood. Clean up a yard or a sidewalk, plant some flowers, write a poem or sing a song about the wonderful plants and animals nature has given us. Make every day Earth Day. The end.